Hello Newcastle fans TV, welcome to uh, a quick video on new screen behind us which is a bit slightly lopsided but anyway it'll have to do. Um, it's Newcastle fans TV Facebook page which has been verified as well so if you've got Facebook head over. We've got uh, photos, likes, we've got all the Twitter feeds because I've put loads of news out about Newcastle on Twitter, videos, YouTube and so on and so on so it's a good look. Um, good looking at it. Um, obviously there's Will behind us as well and there's also me if I move my head which is not very helpful because the lamp is on the way. Anyways what we're doing today is we're here to talk about another build-up towards uh, the Leeds game tomorrow. It's basically because um, normally on a Saturday we normally have a review out on maybe some highlights, but Newcastle, a rare occasion, playing on a Sunday. So we've obviously done a couple of previews. We've done them now. So I'm going to bring you something a little bit from the media side. So we're going to be looking at the AFL pundits, David Prutton and Peter Bugri, on their thoughts on Newcastle. And then we'll also hear from Rafa on audio dead quickly as well. So this is what Peter Bugri said about Newcastle. The thing with Newcastle is they can change at any time. They have that the ability and they have the adaptability because of the squad that they've got, and they've got a couple of systems that they played as well. You know, so um, it's going to be a really, really tough ask. I mean, when you look at the amount of goals that they've scored as well, top scorers. I think there's only Scunthorpe, the 37, mm. who scored more in all the, the, the mm. divisions really, and um, and then the other side of that to give Leeds fans a bit of faith you know if they can keep it uh, nil nil in the first half the amount of goals that Leeds have scored in the second half of games mm. which is you know full of optimistic uh, optimism for them it's going to be a really really tight game I genuinely think there's going to be goals in this yeah. um, just because of the fervour the atmosphere is going to be an amazing full house I mean you know, if you if you live in the area, you know me and Dave live in the area, and you go to any games in this area, you go into a Leeds game with a packed house like this. You come in if you could get a ticket. It's as simple as that. Yeah. So obviously, um, in a normal situation, you would think that Newcastle will win the game. Uh, let's have a listen to what they said about the the score predictions. I fancy Leeds to hold their own here in front of that crowd, and I agree with Biggs with goals in it, and um, I can't. I'm looking at a scoring draw. Yeah, yeah. scoring draw. I, Desmond, yeah, I thought 2-2. Two, two. Uh, I think the advantage is with Newcastle because of the strength of the squad and the mm. way they can change it. Um, and if I was going for a high-scoring winner, then it would be Newcastle. But I think um, as far as... When we're talking about Leeds and where they've been and where they've come up to now, because we're saying about them going head-to-head -head with Newcastle this stage of the season and talking about them maybe being able to get a 2-2 draw. So David Prutton going for a 1-1 draw and Peter Bigri going for a 2-2 draw. I've already said, put my neck on the line, I said I think it'll be a 1-1 draw early on this week as well. So I'm sticking to that. I think it'll be 1-1 personally uh, for me. Uh, Rafa was asked the question, if we move on, Rafa was asked... Um, is Leeds the biggest game of the season? Now, I actually think it generally is because of Leeds' form. We haven't played a team who have been in good, good form. Uh, we played Huddersfield before their start of their run. We played Brighton before their run where they are now. We played Norwich when they were stumbling away at the top. But we're playing a team now which is blistering form. I'm really looking forward to the, tomorrow's game. This is what Rafa said about the game. No, I wouldn't say that. I would say that um, they are in form like us uh, and will be very tough. But... Uh... Maybe in the last games, it's a team that uh, is doing quite well, and you can see yes, you can say yes. But uh, if you talk about Brighton, Norwich, or the other team that we were playing, they were tough tests, uh, all of them. So uh, I think that we will have maybe the same question in one month with another team, because it depends on the moment of the season. So Rafa being Rafa media trained, has answered it very, very well. He didn't really give an answer. You give an, um, what you've obviously heard there, you've heard that, that next month someone might say that that could be the biggest game of the season, which I suppose in one sense he is right about that. Um, for me, I think it is the biggest game of the season, each to their own, I guess, opinions-wise. Literally, um, we'll move on to the final piece now, which is the old saying we've had this... I kind of want this to die off because I don't want this to come in like a question every week, but it's been asked again. Um, Mitrovic or Gale up top, this is what he said. I have to think about the best for the team for each game. And um, I knew that uh, after when I saw the game and Mitrovic scores, the next question in the press conference would be that. But uh, Gale also is, is training well, so really pleased with both. And it's what you have to have. Uh, Murphy is coming back, he was training today. So I want this problem. Sometimes for the players it's not easy because they think, oh, I'm doing well and I don't play, but they have to realise that the teammate is also doing well. So I'm happy with this uh, headache. So uh, he's obviously seen Mitrovic uh, score for Serbia. He knew he'd have them questions uh, fired at him. He had it ready, as you mentioned, Rafa. 
I think he'll go off Gale. I think he'll go off Gale up top because he offers a little bit more where you can run in behind the channels. Fox in the box, he's got a bit of pace. He'll run in between, uh, obviously, yeah, the two centre backs as well of Leeds as well, where Mitrovic will hold it up. So, score predictions, get your score predictions down below, Leeds fans as well, if you're watching as well. Uh, thank you very much for watching Newcastle Fans TV, and we'll look forward to the game tomorrow. See you later.